Hello and welcome to Youth TV. Apologies first of all to my regular subscribers. Um, it's been a while since the last video I know but as you can see we've moved. Uh, this is our new workshop. I'll give you a tour of this workshop another time but just to get us back into the flow of things I thought I'd do a short video on a new product which arrived today. It's the Duratool PCB holder. So let's open it up and have a good look at it. Okay, so this is the tool. It's a, a PCB holder. So it's obviously the Duratool brand, which I've bought previously and I've always been happy with. Um, so according to the blurb on the box, it's 360 degree adjustment holder. Uh, lightweight, easy to carry, adjustable base and clamp to hold various sizes of PC boards. So let's get the box open and see what we get. So inside we have a little white box, the base unit, <coughs> and this contains the feet I think. Yes. So I'm actually initially quite surprised. In the photograph, this appears to be uh, plastic, but it's predominantly metal, which is nice. So I assume these are the two feet. Nice thick rubber uh, stoppers. Stops damaging your workbench. Two screws, and obviously corresponding holes on the, the sliding bits. So let's get those fixed together. Take out these little screws. So like I say, I assume this was plastic looking at the photograph, so it's a pleasant surprise that it's actually predominantly made of metal. So let's just locate these plastic pieces over the holes and bung those screws back in. Of course I've got the wrong glasses on, so let's just get rid of those. So obviously assembly is pretty straightforward, nothing complex about putting in four little screws and the holes are well machined so they're going in very easily unlike a lot of Chinese products. So. And the final screw. It's also quite larger than I was expecting. Again, photographs can be deceptive. So here it is. Um, as you can see, basically these two pieces can slide along this bottom bar. There's a little plastic locking nut on either side. So you can adjust the, the distance between the, the uh, grips for the board. So let's just lock that in a position. One thing I'm not very keen on to put the knobs on opposite sides of the device. I would have liked them both on the same side, but I don't suppose that's a big deal, really. Um, I've had a similar thing before, which was basically two bits of sheet metal with a rod, which stuck out about 18 inches. It was very inconvenient to store, but this is a lot more compact. So it consists of two elements, um, two rotating board holders which basically just consist of um, you can see that a groove a long groove with grooves going the opposite direction on both sides so you basically fit your board into that groove and one of the sides is spring loaded to apply tension to hold the board in position so let's dig out a bit of a scrap board <clears throat> Here's a ball. This is a an old um, oh, it's a router, I believe. So obviously it's a bit big to fit in this position. So let's extend this a bit further. 
hopefully I've got a board that'll actually fit for this demonstration. So as I say, you put the board in one side, retract the other side, and let it sit in that groove, and then it's tightened up your sliders. So there we go, we have a board which we can, as you can see, bring it forward a bit, rotate. So if we were soldering, for example, or desoldering, we've got a good um, view of the board. We can spin it over to see both sides. See, we're taking out a component, the, the switch. We can desolder it this side and just pull it out that side. So overall, very handy, these little things. Um, what more is it to say, really? It it's rotates, obviously restricted in terms of the size of the board by the length. Let me see if I can get a ruler and we can get an estimate of how long. I would say that these are probably at the end of their maximum stretch. So the biggest board I would say you could get in there is probably about eight and a half inches long, 22 and a half centimeters. And of course, if you want to rotate the board, there's also the distance from here, so it'll clear. So um, let's have a look. I would say approximately two and a half to the center. So a board five inches wide, which is about um, 125 mil in old and new money. So, um, I would say I'm very pleased with this. It's it's good, solid construction. It doesn't slide around on the bench. Um, it, it grips very well. It's good pressure. I forgot to tighten that knob, but that's even better when it's tightened. So nice rotation. Gives you a good angle, good view. Uh, nice solid feet, made of metal. The uprights are made of plastic, but they're pretty well made. I think that would be not an issue. Uh, so overall, I'm very impressed with the product. So definitely a thumbs up. So if you like this little review, please be so kind as give me a like, give me a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Thanks.